Good morning, honey. Good morning, sweetheart. How about some coffee? Yeah, big one. Somebody kept me up last night. Well, I'm sorry I had a nightmare. You didn't seem to mind so much last night. Oh, no. <laughs> it was probably just spending the night in a new house is all. Yeah, I know. I have to admit, this place is kind of strange. Yeah, it's different. You know, I bet the guy that built this place must have been really bizarre. Well, hi, Spaz. How you doing, huh? Hey. Hey, Mom. What are you going to do today, sweetheart? Well, I don't know. I'm almost finished unpacking. Thought maybe I'd do a little exploring. Yeah. How about you? Do you see that bathroom yet on the second floor? Yeah. I like that. I think I'm going to turn it into a photo lab for myself. Keep me busy for a week or so. That's a good idea. What's in that box? Well, I don't know. I haven't gone through it yet. Let's see. Oh, it's Christmas ornament. Oh, look at this. Why? Just a sec. You remember this? Yeah. Yeah, I gave you this for Halloween. You rat? <laughs> you know it was Christmas Eve. It was the night you proposed to me. Are you sure I proposed to you? Yes. Of course I remember. Of course I do. You're forgiven. I better get to work. I got a lot to do. I'm gonna keep this little fella with me, though. So I'll always remember that fate. <laughs> Well, don't wait too hard. See you later.
I can't see a thing down there. Oh, it's dusty. It's empty. Spaz. How you doing, kitty? You getting used to the new place yet, huh? What is this? Absent.
damn it. It's locked. My dearest Gaston, I can't wait to see you, my angel. It's been far too long. Let's, Let's take, take a, a few, few moments, moments for ourselves, ourselves during Zoltan's party next week. We'll meet in the gazebo, away from all the revelry. Angel, how I yearn for your sweet kiss, your strong arms holding me tight, protecting me. And oh, my dear, I need protecting. I'm afraid my husband's beginning to suspect. He watches me night and day. Perhaps we can steal away, run away, forever from his sight. My only consolation is thoughts of you, my angel. Always, your adoring love, Marie. Honey, you okay? Oh, God. The bed. What? The bed grabbed me. 
The bed grabbed you? Yes. <laughs> oh, here, calm down. Calm down. Wait here. Wait here, all right? Just wait here. I'll show No, don't! Just calm down. See? It's okay, Hila. See? Nothing wrong. Goodness. This old drafty house has your imagination going, doesn't it? Oh, sweetheart. I've got to get back to work. Are you going to be okay? Yes. You sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just calm down. Okay. God, what is this? Why, there's a key stuck in the keyhole. I thought I'd turn my computer off. 
guess not. I'm just looking at my plans here, trying to figure out the best way for me to do this. Why well, you doing a lot? Yeah. Really coming along. Did you want something, sweetheart? Oh no, I just came to see how you were doing. Nice doggy. Good dog. Good boy. Well, hello there, little lady. What can I do you for? Yeah, are you Bob Tompkins? When's the last time I took a look? <laughs> My husband bought a house from you. Mm, too bad you got a husband, honey. I'll have a seat. Uh, love to do that. <laughs> Uh, what's his name? Asshole. What was that? Gordon. Donald Gordon. Gordon. 
Gibson, Gleason, Gordon. Yeah. Donald Gordon, here we go. Oh. Who's them people what took over the old Caravash estate? It's Carnivash. I remember now. Your husband was that photographer what takes the pictures for those magazines. Yeah. Huh. Well, my husband works for several magazines. Yeah. He's doing a project for Newsday magazine right now. Yeah. And you, little lady, uh, you're a writer, huh? Yes. Yeah. I'm a novelist. Oh, a novelist. So what have you noveled? <laughs> Have you heard of a book called Blue Moon Rising? No, can't say I have. I'm not surprised. Well, uh, young lady, unless there's something else, I think we'll cut this chit-chat for today. I got a lot of work to do. I got another client I'm going to meet. Okay. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, thanks. There is something. Yes? Keys. Are you sure you gave my husband all the keys to the Carnivash estate? There seem to be some locked doors. Well, I gave him all I had. But if you don't believe me, why don't you just check for yourself? Well, I think I will. Carnivash estate. All the keys, huh? What's this? It's a very large key. <sighs> so sue me. This reporter attended Carnot's Phantasmagoria show in London's Egyptian theater last night and found it horrific, spine-tingling, and incredible. Women were swooning in the aisles at the gory realism of his spectacles. For the uninitiated, Carnot's shows are not for the faint of heart, as they feature occult images, the black arts, torture devices, bodily amputations, of course, all are accompanied by a generous dose of screams, shrieks, howls, and frightening organ music. Those of you up to thrills and chills won't want to miss this.
phone to letter opener. Dear Jeremiah, it has come to my attention that you have recently acquired a unique book while traveling through Egypt this most recent winter. It, it is my understanding that this tome contains powerful information regarding ancient rituals of sorcery and magic. I relish the thought of reading it. As you know, I am sometimes frustrated by the fact that I cannot really control the world around me. That my so-called magic is merely nothing more than illusions. Next month, I will be giving a show in Paris. Will you be in town then? If so, I would like to set up a meeting during which I could examine your fascinating acquisition. If the book is really authentic, I would be more than willing to pay a hefty sum for its purchase. I look forward to hearing from you. Best regards, Zoltan.
This must be Carno's family tree. Wrestling with that lamp? Hey, hey. Oh, it's very funny. I don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, suddenly, the damn lamp crashed down on top of my head. I, uh, I just finished tightening the screws. Oh. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go upstairs, get cleaned up, put on some new clothes. I'm done for the day. How about some dinner? What would you like? I'm not really very hungry. Maybe some tuna or a salad or something. Then let's call it a night. That sounds good. I'm kind of tired. See you downstairs in about 10 minutes? Yeah. Ten minutes. <laughs> 